You're going straight to hell on your crazy train. Members of the Kansas-based Westboro Church carry signs that read, Thank God for Dead Soldiers and America is Doomed. God hates America. They have made a business out of protesting at military funerals across the country. They believe soldiers are dying because God is punishing the country for, quote, the sin of homosexuality. In an overwhelming 8-1 to one decision the Supreme Court ruled Wednesday, Westboro Church, led by Pastor Fred Phelps, has the right to continue spreading their angry message. Chief Justice John Roberts wrote, quote, Speech is powerful. It can stir people to action, move them to tears of both joy and sorrow, and as it did here, inflict great pain. On the facts before us, we cannot react to that pain by punishing the speaker. The pain the Chief Justice refers to is that of Albert Snyder. The Phelps family picketed outside the funeral of Snyder's son, Marine Lance Corporal Matthew Snyder, killed in Iraq. We found out today that we can no longer bury our dead in this country with dignity. What is this country becoming? Snyder sued for intentional infliction of emotional distress, back. but the high court disagreed, saying the protest on public property outside the funeral was not overly intrusive. And however reprehensible, the speech was protected by the First Amendment because, Roberts said, the issues they highlight, the political and moral conduct of the United States and its citizens, the fate of our nation, homosexuality in the military, and scandals involving the Catholic clergy are matters of public import. Having your feelings hurt over words is not enough to shut up the speech. The lone dissenting opinion, Justice Samuel Alito, saying, quote, in order to have a society in which public issues can be openly and vigorously debated, it is not necessary to allow the brutalization of innocent victims like Albert Snyder.